All right, Evelings, welcome back to the next Aries Gaming here. Today we're playing EVE Online like we always do, and today we are talking about how to place buy orders and not get yourself killed. Now, I try to release content that is entertaining and useful. I'm not sure this is either, but don't don't click away or anything, because it might be. It is to me anyway. Um, it's kind of a, something I was wondering about, and so I decided to do a bit of research on it. Let's talk about what buy orders are in the first place. Now, EVE is a little bit different than a lot of other games because you don't have a magical, you know, inventory that follows you around everywhere. Your stuff has to be in the station, and if you want it in another station somewhere else, somebody's got to take it there. Either you or, you know, you can put it up on contract and, and uh, have people courier it away. You know, so what you can do in this game is place something called a buy order. So if I, let's say I want to buy Federation Navy antimatter charge L's because I want to put them in my Hyperion and blow up some bad spacemen. Um, the first thing we got to do is, depending on what station we're at, we can see there's some available in the station here in Dodixie, uh, and there's some available here and here and here. So in order to buy something right away, you can buy it, and it'll be in the station that it's in. But um, if you notice, down here, people are placing buy orders for this stuff. And a buy order is basically you are saying to Eve, I want this item. And I'm willing to pay this much for it. And if you sell it to me, then we'll all be happy. The thing is, you place a buy order from a specific station. And so um, what you can do with buy orders is kind of cast a wider net. Because if you go, uh, if you go into something you want and say place buy order, this little window pops up. And you can put the bid price in. Now, normally you want to kind of sort and all that good stuff. So you can see, okay, if I offer 803, 803 ISK, then I will be the top man on the totem pole as far as if people sell this antimatter charge L, then I will be the first one that they sell it to because I am offering the most for it. So instead of putting it at a buy order of $16.99, which will immediately buy a bunch of stuff from here, you know, you maybe want to put yourself at $810 or whatever. So you can put the price in there and the quantity is how much you want to buy. So at the end of the day, let's say you want to buy 2,500 of it or something, it'll cost you this much. The duration is how long your buy order stays up for, but the drop down I'm really interested in for today's video is the range. I, I, I looked in this, in this thing and I was very curious about the trade hubs and these amount of jumps. So you can set it to the station. That means if people sell this to you, you are buying it specifically from the station that you placed the order from. And it will have to go to there when they drop it off. They won't be able to put it anywhere else. If you set this to solar system, then they will be able to drop it at any station in the same solar system you place the buy order in. But then we get to the really interesting part. Region. One jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, five jumps, 10 jumps, 20 jumps, 30 jumps, and up to 40 jumps away from the station where you place the order. Now, this is very interesting to me. Um... And I tried to decide how useful each of these categories were for the average player, right? I'm not a marketer. I'm not really into this whole buy and sell crazy trading in volumes and all this regions and, or, you know, like um, sort of the, uh, what's the word, people? I'll think of it. Give me a second. Um, margins, not regions. So margins, like, oh, this little, oh, we'll buy a little bit of this. Oh, we'll wait till the market's good. It's not my thing. But what I do like to do is, you know, if there's, a, if there's a big gap between the current sell and people's buy orders, like this is half as expensive if you just wait for it. Buy orders means you're going to wait for it. And you can make it easier for people to get it to you sometimes if you set this longer away from the station. What this does mean, though, is that you're going to have to pick up your junk from all over the place. And so you probably want to set a reasonable minimum. Otherwise, you're going to get like one Federation Navy antimatter charge L. I mean, it, you won't, but potentially you could in some random station somewhere, and then you got to go pick it up with your spaceship. Otherwise, your personal assets window is just going to be a hot mess like mine is. Um, so, you know, you want, might want to set a reasonable minimum that people can sell to you. Um, so let's say you want 10,000 of this. You might want to set a minimum of like 1,000 so you don't have to, whoop, <laughs> so that you don't have to, you know, go to too many different places to pick up your stuff. So Let's talk about what this video is really about. This video is really about the star map. This is like the longest intro and segue in the world, but bear with me because I promise it'll at least be long. All right. 
So this is uh, all the systems that are within, uh, you know, a, a jump to Doty, right? So what I did is I went into Dotland Maps and I wondered to myself, how far away can I make the buy order range before I run into a low sec system from the five trade hubs? And if this information exists somewhere else, don't tell me about it. Just let me feel good about myself and that I did all this work and all this like tracing the star routes, okay? That'd be like if, if like, you know, if I didn't want to waste time reading all of War and Peace, but I read it anyway, and then you told me there was a movie, don't tell me there's a movie. Just let me feel good that I read the whole book. All right. So here is uh, what I found out. If you set to region, we'll talk about that one last. But let's talk about, about the trade hubs. We're going to talk about them in alphabetical order, starting with Amar. Amar has the following layout, and I will type this up on the screen later during editing because that's just the magic. Um, if you set a buy order to one jump, you will run into zero low sec systems from Amar. If you set it for two jumps, you'll still run into zero. It'll be a bunch of high sec systems. You'll be fine. The second you set it to three jumps, there is a potential that you could run into one low sec system. Now, the thing about low sec and buy orders is that I, as far as I know, and as far as I've researched and as far as I've lived, you cannot fill a buy order for someone in a station that they cannot access. So it, the, the, the deal with putting stuff, you know, having to pick stuff up potentially in low sec isn't that you won't be able to access it because definitely there are some scams, contract scams out there where they sell it to you in a station that you can't access, but this isn't contracts. It's the market. It's a little more regulated. Um, and so the, the, the difficulty with picking up in low sec is just that it's low sec. Um, I know high sec is very dangerous sometimes as well, depending on the volume of goods you're carrying, as I found out several days ago. Thanks, Halloween event. Um, but, you know, in general, low sec is just more dangerous. It's low sec, all right? So you could potentially run into, uh, have your stuff start piling up in one low sec system, four jumps from Amar, three jumps from Amar. If you set it to four jumps, then you could potentially have your stuff dropped off in up to five different low secs. And if you set to five jumps, 11 low sec systems could potentially be within that web of five jumps away from Amar. All right. So, you know, you're very safe one to two jumps, three jumps. You've got one system you could potentially deal with four jumps, five jumps. You're looking at some, some serious low sack jumping around. Okay. Depends on what kind of ship you're flying. Some people can do it and it's totally fine. Um, but again, it's the sort of the danger. If you set it to the region in Amar, which is it, I feel like it's not metropolis, but I don't have it memorized. Where's Amar? It's in, um, oh, domain. Okay, so if you set it to region and you're in Amar, then 40 out of the 189 systems in that region are low sec. Now, that's 21% of the systems, not too shabby, uh, as you'll see as we stack up. But the problem is how many there are. If you set it to a regional buy, 189 different systems in that region your stuff could end up in. That's a lot of running around and doing junk. So I don't know if regional, if anyone's ever done a regional buy order, let me know. I would love to know who that'd be useful for. I mean, if you like to jump around and pick stuff up, I guess, but um, whatever. So that's Amar. From Dodixi, you can set it to one or two jumps and still not run into any low sec systems. The second you go to three, you'll run into one, just like Amar. If you set it to four, you'll run into five, just like Amar. But if you set it to five, you'll start running into 14. So Dodixie is a little bit more dangerous in that respect. However, a regional buy in Dodixie, in Cinq Laison, as it were, is 25 out of 107 systems. So 23% of uh, Cinq Laison is low sec and only 107 systems, which, you know, that's still a lot of systems that your stuff could end up in. But if you're clever in how you set your buy order, um, you know, you can do that. Now we're going to move to um, Heck. Uh, this is um, in, this is the one in Metropolis. Heck is, is down here. Heck is a little bit of a dangerous spot. I'm not sure how much of a trade hub this is anymore. Um, but I, I, cause I mostly shop at the Dixie and Jita, but um Heck, if you set it to one jump, you automatically have a chance of running into a low sec. So heck is probably the worst system to place buy orders from. One jump is one, 
two jumps is four, three jumps is nine, four jumps is 15, and five jumps is a whopping 23 low six systems that your stuff could potentially end up in. And a regional buy order is 50 out of 158 for 32% of the systems in the Metropolis region being low sec. This is the absolute worst trade hub to place buy orders from that aren't just station buy, right? Like, or solar system buy. Um, because your stuff is going to end up in low second going to get it is going to be a little bit of a nail biter. Gita is actually somewhat surprising to me. The, the reason that I started doing this was because I just kind of wanted to see what the what the deal was with the Gita. Gita is a lot like Amar and Dodixie in that the first two, one jump and two jumps, are zero and zero. Again, you can set it up to two buy orders away from Gita. And you won't run it, have to go into any low sec systems. Uh, three jumps, you run into only one. Four jumps, you run into six. And five jumps, you run into 13. Um, the Forge is also a very small region. Only 16 of the 88 systems are low sec, which means the difference between a regional buy order and a five jump buy order is only three more low sec systems you're picking up. Um, and so that 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 what's weird is the Forge actually sort of wins my award for the best region to... Um, place a regional buy order in, but we'll we'll talk about that in detail at the end of the video. Not detail, but I'll give you more opinions on it. And then Renz is the last um, trade hub that I know of, right? This is, uh, again, over in the Hymatar region. Again, pretty good. At the first two, one jump and two jump, you'll run into no low sec. At three jumps, you run into two. Four jumps, this one jacks all the way up to 10. And at five jumps, it goes to 18. Now, this one in a regional is 25 of 83 for 30%. So what does this mean? This means that for four of the five major trade hubs, you can set a buy order up to two jumps away, maybe three if you're feeling lucky, right? That, that'll that give you at most two low sec systems from all of them, uh, from Amar, Dodixie, Jita, and Renz. And then, um, you know, you can kind of uh, deal with it from there. Um so that that's sort of my opinion on on all of this. It's very interesting to me, and I'm going to try setting up some buy orders. The, the reason you would want to set up a buy order uh, for to cast a wider net like that is that you can get product at a much lower um, uh, price. So if you cast a wide net and are willing to go pick up all the stuff from your buy order wherever it happens to be, um, then it can probably be. Uh, uh, not, not to mention that in order by, by simply waiting for something, by using a buy order, you're already saving just a ton of isk as long as you're willing to wait for it. Um, if you need it right now to blow up bad spacemen, that's a much different story. But if you're willing to wait and have it trickle in, um, that's good. And, and, and having your buy order set, uh, farther away from the station is also good. I did not deal with 10 jumps. 20 jumps, 30 jumps, 40 jumps, because at that point, you're probably hitting low sec. Oh, you're definitely hitting low sec, and you're probably hitting null sec. Um, so if you're doing that kind of thing, then you are, uh, you know, you're you're piloting a, a deep space transport or some kind of blockade runner thing, and you already kind of know what you're in for. Um, but for those of us that just have a bunch of Nereuses all over the place, I thought it would be interesting. So at least from the trade hubs, all but one, you're definitely better setting a buy order for two systems away, as long as you don't mind go picking your stuff up. Okay. Be careful out there. The Halloween event's going on right now and um, people are ganking w and literally anything and everything. A ship I never would have got ganked in before the Halloween event is now just like immediately blown up without a second thought because it could be carrying any amount of ISK. Um, there is no more scanning. There is only exploding. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, I know I lied to you in the last video. I said this one was going to be PVE, uh, sorry, PVP Vexor fits, but there's more testing that needs to be done on that end. And I didn't want to bring you content that I wasn't at least somewhat sure of. Um, I've made mistakes before in the past. I'll make mistakes again. Let's just learn together and play some Eve and blow up some bad spacemen. So yeah, thanks. If you made it this far in the video, please like and or subscribe. If you didn't make it this far in the video, please also like and subscribe. It helps keep me going. It makes me feel good and warm and fuzzy. So um, thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Aries Gaming.